Hello, Mr. Ace. Good morning. Good morning from India. Good morning. Good evening from here, from Oregon, Oregon, the United States. Okay. Thank you for joining today. Yes. And welcome, welcome to Gesto's talk show. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Ace Isakobo, and I live in the United States. I'm from uh, Mexico. I've been living here for almost 40 years. And uh, yes, I love the language. I love um, different other, other different languages. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn other languages like Russian, Chinese, uh, Portuguese, French. And so, yeah, I'm kind of like the type of guy that likes to try different languages. All right. So learning different languages are really fascinating. Uh, yes. What other languages do you speak? I speak Spanish and I understand uh, Portuguese a lot. And also I understand um, less French. And the Russian, I'm like maybe a quarter. <laughs> I don't know much of the Russian, but I do know the greetings like Dobre Utra, Dobre Vietcher, Agila, Harasho, Yautia, all those little words that, you know, you, you can say it around. But it's okay. not, not enough to keep the conversation. I can start the conversation, but I cannot. So you are good at Spanish, English, and German. Sorry, not, French. Not, not German, uh, Portuguese and a little bit of more more portuguese and french but do very sp good spanish and english all right so what is the regional language or your national language of mexico uh, it is spanish 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 uh, but okay. it's not the spanish from mexico from uh, spain of course it's a little bit different because different countries uh obtain their own uh style of language you know. Spanish is most widely spoken language, you know, yeah. in, uh, in, in uh, South America, there are many countries. So Spanish <laughs> is not only spoken in South America, but in some other regions also. It is the third most spoken language in the world. In the world, yes. Uh, Spanish is a, ma, ma, one of the most extended languages in the entire world. And so lots of countries do speak Spanish and they can also speak another language. In Mexico, there's a lot of people just like the United States where uh, uh, people are coming from different places and they, um, they all speak their own language and they live in Mexico or the United States. But uh, in reality, uh, Mexico uh, is a home for all the people that cannot live in their countries. So, Mr. Ace, uh, can you please tell me something about your hobbies? Yes, my hobbies are music. And uh, right now it's videos and music. I, um, I make videos for YouTube and, I, and I'm a musician. I play in my church and um, I, I love playing music. I play two or three different instruments at the moment. I'm, I'm working towards playing other instruments like maybe violin, I don't know, but who knows? <laughs> I, I do play guitar, keyboard and bass guitar. And I try to sing, but I'm not a, that type of person that can actually sing. Well, magnificent. And I'm really glad to know that you are a musician and you are really fond of playing music, musical instruments and singing songs. So what are your major, your, your interest, uh, interesting music area? Is it uh, Hollywood or Bollywood or what, what type of music do you like the most? Is oh, there, it DJ a or melody or... It's soft. It's called soft rock, 
it's, it's type of rock, but it's a soft, like, you know, uh, more like, huh? well, in the past, the Beatles were one of my, uh, the favorite uh, music that they played. But um, on the long run, I tended to stay into this uh, easy, easy rock music, easy music, melodies, singing, not heavy metal or not uh, music from from my country because Mexico has its own uh, type of music. And so uh, it is very well known throughout the entire world, uh, the type of uh, music from Mexico. And I'm not a fan of the Mexican music. I'm more a fan of, uh, I will say, an English type, uh, uh, mostly 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, that's been the type of music that I've been more into it. That's good. So you are really passionate about rock music or uh, Mexican music. That's uh, really give, amazing. I'll give an example of uh, what the type of uh, music some um, uh, famous uh, singers and, and musicians are. For instance, I, if you're familiar with Kenny Rogers, um, the Beatles, uh, El Elton John, uh, um, other ones, you know, that have the same type of music that are, is not heavy, it's, it's just, you know, easy going, like, um, like Diana Ross or um, Olivia Newton John, who they used to have, you know, their own music, like, uh, for instance, uh, on the movie Grease, I don't know if you are familiar with the movie Grease, the themes on that movie uh, they were my favorite uh, music at the time, you know, when I was in Mexico. Now I'm more into Christian sounds, Christian music that I listen to and that I'm going for. Okay. So, you know, I am really interested in listening to music, especially the music of uh, Alan Walker, Serena, BTS, Jeffla. Charlie Booth. BTS, These are, yes. you know, modern singers, young artists. So right. yes. I'm, yes. I'm quite young. So I focus on those singers. The nowadays music, yes. Yeah. So can, can you, uh, do you have a violin or guitar or other musical instruments? I do have a guitar right now. I'm not able to play it at this moment because I had to bring in no problem. I have, I, have a, I have a keyboard that I can bring in, but uh, would you bring it? I, I'll ask my daughter if she's able to bring okay. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, if it is dis difficult, and we can move on with our vocal. Yeah, our, well, we'll leave it for our next time. voice. Yeah, maybe next time I can probably just. Uh, you know, bring it around or have the camera closer to the keeper because it's right now it's kept away. Yeah. And so I had to get it out, get the uh, uh, connections for it and set it. No, no worries. Yes. So let's keep going. Yes. Uh, can you please sing two or four lines of any song that you really like? Any, any language, any song? Right. Uh, one of the songs that got stuck to me was one of the uh, uh, John Lennon's songs, one of his, uh, the ones that he wrote. And it was, uh, it was the one that is called uh, Imagine. I don't know, you probably heard Imagine from, the, from John Lennon or the Beatles, you know, like Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It's not like that, you know. Uh, those old, old songs <laughs> that nowadays, yeah. the only people that like the uh, Beatles, they will play and listen to those songs. But now, I don't listen to them. I, I, it's just the songs that I used to listen when, when I was 
20 years old. Yes. So what are the beautiful songs or the really interesting songs for you um, that you are really aspiring or admiring? Right Maybe now. You, 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 are, you are a singer or a musician, so you must have a list of songs. So in the list, can you please introduce some songs a little bit? Uh, right now, the Christian the Christian trend is uh, uh, several like um, um, I, I don't have the names. I don't, I'm really bad at names because uh, yeah. uh, you mentioned something about me singing, and no, I don't sing. I play music. Yeah. I and, know one 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 Christian song that bind us together, bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, chords. That cannot be broken. Have you heard of this song? It's not popular, but you know, I sing for my pleasure. Oh, yes. Oh, no, um, I have not heard that song. Um, there are other ones. Uh... You are really interested in learning or teaching English. I don't know if you teach English or not. So what are the other interesting areas? One is music and learning languages. Then are you fond of teaching anything? Teaching yes, music or? I, I'm actually helping uh, my brothers in Mexico, that the ones that l want to learn, I'm helping them um, uh, make their English better. And I love to help them. I love to answer questions about uh, the English language when the when the person has a question, a doubt, and doesn't know how to say this. I love to help them, so I do help my brothers and sisters that want to learn. And anybody like on on WhatsApp, if they if I'm in a group and they ask me, I'm glad to be uh, to be able to help them. And, and so uh, I'm also a fan of that. Yeah. Do you think that a teacher necessary for students to practice English or they can they can learn English themselves? <clears throat> okay, very good question. And I, I, I know it is very important that there is a teacher because uh, sometimes that's the only way students can actually listen to to what they would like to hear. Because sometimes we do want to learn, but we don't know how. how. I'm a self-taught English person. I knew what I needed to learn, and so I learned it. I didn't have a teacher with me. So um, um, I'm a self-taught uh, English speaker. And so um, all I needed was just to be able to practice. And, it wasn't until I was able to practice my English that I was able to get it and, 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 and understand it. But um, yes, a teacher is very important um, because a lot of us, we, we wouldn't know what to learn if there was no teacher, yes. You are absolutely right. Because, you know, if there is a guide for the students and they'll be, you know, they'll be uh, very helpful uh, in, in, in correcting their mistakes and they can really enjoy uh, speaking with the teacher and the teacher can easily rectify their mistakes and alternatively the students can identify or recognize their problems in speaking. And at the yes. same time, teacher can, teacher can train the students in advanced way you know, there are many sources available on internet or any other social media, but it has a limitation. If a teacher teaches the students, it is direct experience. If we watch a movie or if we focus on YouTube videos or anywhere, it is just like a virtual platform, digital indirect. platform. Yes, so, you know, rather than a virtual platform, that direct experience will give them real speaking practice yes 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 that's true um i actually try my own idea of how to learn uh, a language and it doesn't work <laughs> i 
I tell you why, because I know what I need to learn. And so I, by learning another language and I put my own method to into practice, I can learn it, but I still need somebody be available to be able to ask that person. And that person is to be able to answer me and, and give me the answers. So if I don't have that person, then I'm left alone. And so it's really hard, it's really hard. For English, it was not that hard for me because I used to get a book and get a book and, and okay. read it and just write down each word that I didn't know. And so when I was doing that, I was memorizing all the words that I was writing down. And so that helped me know, uh, learning the language, but it didn't help me with the pronunciation. It didn't help me with understanding what other people would say. I needed to be in between these English speaking people to, in order for me to be able to grasp and hear the sounds and, 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 and vocals and words and phrases. So uh, yes, we do need to like, if I wanna learn um, Hindu, I need to go to Hind India and learn Hindu from them. Hmm. It, it's different than if somebody from there comes here and wants to, um, um, I mean, it, if somebody from there wants to speak the language, yes, uh, they will be able to understand it here more than if they want to learn over there. That's exactly true. You know, if we want to learn a language, we have to live in the language. It means we have to travel to the place where that language is spoken. Or, or at least... Yes. Or, you know, at least speak the language with people who can speak. These two ways are the excellent method to yes. learn a language. That is an acquisition process. So simply learning or just not like studying, just reading books and study, writing. It's, it's not really learning a language. Learning a language don't need the grammar or the, the patterns or the, the grammatical elements. It needs complete experience. Just listen and speak. What do you think about listening and speaking? Is that the best method? That's the best idea. My brother uh, is, lives in Mexico and he learned to speak and use his English. But there's a problem when you're trying to speak um, English translated from your own language your phrases do not match the English language. So you really have to learn the phrases from the English and, and, and know what they really mean. Then you know how to translate all that. It, it's in exchange. You, have, you bring something from there and you translate it here. You don't take something from here to there. It doesn't do, it doesn't work. That sounds good. You know, translate, translation method sometimes doesn't work because the, the words in our 